OMG laser. Hey, how's it going? Thank you for stopping by, checking out my. <laughs> Thank you for stopping by, checking out my YouTube page, checking out my YouTube channel. Yeah. My name is Rick. I'm also known as Rick's Two Cents. <laughs> this is my son. Yeah. <laughs> He's known as Little Ricky. We did, <laughs> we did an unboxing video today. It, We're it was, uh, what is it? Uh, it's a uh, fifty-nine dollars <laughs> ninety-four cents. It's some. Uh, it's a little more than fifty nine dollars. It's a laser. Yeah, we're doing a boxing video today. It's a laser. It is a OMG sixty watt mopa laser. We're super super excited. Uh, really going to take our skill sets to another level. Our uh, availabilities um, to make new items to another level. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get this box opened. Uh, as you can see right off the bat, <laughs> it's in this super heavy crate. Um, yeah. So. You may need two people to lift this to bring this into your home. So let's get this open. Okay. All right. We got it open. It's time to get the top off. Here we go. It's heavy. <laughs> Let's see. There was a slight dent on the other side. I'll turn around so you can see it. Right here. It looks like when they want to pick it up the forklift, they shove the forks through. But luckily, it looks like this is wrapped in this foam so well that um, I don't think it's gonna cause a problem. Let me grab the camera. And kind of show you a downward uh, so you can see how well they pack it. Oh, it has so much power. Yeah, it does. And we're on one again. Oh, yeah. You want to see in there? Be careful with these. Be careful with these, okay? Those are sharp. What is this? Safety goggles. Want to try them? Whoa, whoa. Be careful. Be careful. Oh, my. Safety goggles. Oh, nice case. Nice hard case. Ricky's always likes trying the safety goggles. It's a nice cloth. like that one, Dad. Yeah, that's okay. Let's put it on. How do you look? Whoa. I can see everything fly green. <laughs> Let's get going. Okay. One thing I can say is this thing's a lot bigger than the 30 watt laser. Yeah. A lot. Yeah. Nice that ruler. Dirty one like that. Nice some ruler. There's no the It's the last thing. No. I think this is a lens. This laser came with three different lenses. Very nice. Nice lens. You know what? It comes with a dust cap for both sides. That's really cool since you have multiple lenses. When you're putting these when you're putting these away, that they're not getting up. 
scratch or dented or dirty or dusty. Um, I like I like that it came with dust capture both sides. That's a nice added touch. Every little thing like that, to be honest with you, it just seems you know it all adds up when you think about the mass and the amount they're selling out. Oh, look at this! Look at this! They sent the little stuffed animal with it. For me? Yeah, they sent the little. Let me, let me cut it open for you. Yep. Check it out! They sent you a gift. Uh -huh. OMG Laser sent a <laughs> a squishy cat. Very cool. There you go. That's what they sent you, Ricky. Is that cool? It's Garfield. It's Matt Garfield, but a cow looks like a no. Foot pedal. Power cord. <laughs> Keep going. Base. That's a big mama jamma. This thing is definitely. <laughs> It's gonna, it's gonna look a, a, a lot bigger compared to the 3D block. Absolutely, very cool. Let's keep going. You careful with this, they're funny, okay? USB cable. That's one. Another lens. Whoops, a lot smaller the lens. Again, the double dust cap. I'll have to look up what they are because they say a model like uh, M8, uh, M85X1. So I don't know what that means. It's, you know, off the top of my head. I'll pull this up in here, what the lenses are. Um, then I will obviously label it. The head will sit the side, but I think they'll be pretty obvious once you uh, feel the pedal. There's some very thick steel. I'm not sure what that's for yet. Probably kind of base. Set of Allen keys. Cool. I didn't even know I believe this is a rotary. Let's get it opened up. Let's take a look at this rotary. A rotary is for so we could do cobs and it's gonna turn it like this and that and hold it so you can cut, you can laser it. Ricky's asking, what exactly does that mean? Which is a valid question. And this seems pretty beefy. It definitely wrapped this well. This thing is definitely beefy. Boris George. Yeah, the motor on this thing is humongous. Wow, I'll tell you what, I have several rotaries as my son keeps talking about. And this, by far, is the beefiest one um, based on what I've had so far. This thing is, this thing is major, look at that. It's definitely gonna be able to hold some weight. So uh, even a big rhino will be able to grab it and really be able to hold it and uh, have weight so they can countersink it and not be top heavy. 
uh, has these screws so you can actually screw it into the base which is cool you know just have it sitting there then keep it from actually toppling over so that's cool so let's get this up here looks like they have that wiped in some grease so that it doesn't uh rust and corrode just All right, this back. So let's see what this is. There are some additional parts for the rotary so you can actually change out the chucks. Uh, try to be able to small, buy small, grab smaller items. So nice, and a key chuck to be able to change those out. So we're gonna just set that there. Steve. Looks like we're getting down to the fun stuff now. There we go. Wow. Here. I think we're still missing um, just to come with three lenses, so we've still got one hiding out in the bottom here. Let's find that in a second here. Dogs. Look. Oh, there's another bit. Here. There's another bit right there. Goodbye. Here's the base. That's a big base. That's a really big base. <laughs> robot case. What is that thing in the box? That is the laser. So let's get it out. It's a little heavy, and I'm happy to report there is no damage. Oh, it key. is heavy. I'm telling you, it's heavy. The key. Key makes it. All right. Stop. Yes, give me one second. Here's the base. Wow, no damage at all. Super happy that they took the extra effort and um, really, you know, wrapped this. You've seen all the foam, how the, the wood, you know, really thick wood, and wrapped it in all this uh, styrofoam. And, shrink wrap and just took all the other uh i'm out of breath i lift this up this thing's pretty heavy so uh let's go ahead and uh get this put together there we go you ready ricky mm -hmm. we got this yeah say so we got this we got this we got this i think let's do an unboxing i think it's important the only reason i do this unboxings and i don't skip this because some people may thumb you know fast forward through it but it's important to see when you're ordering something from overseas that the manufacturer takes an extra effort to package it to make sure that when it arrives, you receive it safely in good condition. You saw there was some damaging in the box, uh, but because the way they packaged it, the way they wrapped everything, it was fine. So let's go ahead and get this put together. Let's and then uh, shortly after, we'll show you what this is capable. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get this put together. And uh, we'll put that in fast forward mode so you don't have to watch this. And then we're really going to see what this is capable of and show you. So, uh, you ready to put this together, Ricky? Yeah. Do we got this? Yeah. We got this. We got this. <laughs> All right, here we go.
just want to show something really quick. When installing this laser on this mount, it has four screws and you have the ability to shift it forward or shift it back um, by just loosening and tightening these screws and you should you know, tighten them in place when, they're, when you want it. But the reason that it would make a difference where you would move or shift it back and forth is it's giving you a bigger base or bigger area to work in. And obviously you have a ton of slack in the wiring, so that's not a concern at all. But the um, laser itself, it gives you the ability to move it in, you know, depending on the size of the piece, and depending on the size of the item that you're laser engraving. So I really like that, that this is not fixed and it gives you a lot more flexibility uh, to be able to laser engrave something. Uh, also this, coincidentally, uh, rather than have it mounted forward, if you actually did want it to loosen this base and turn it to a size and laser engrave something to the side of it, maybe it's something a really tall object or really something big, um, you could do that as well. So that just gives you a lot more options to be able to engrave larger objects. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and tighten this up. I'm going to just get it, I'm going to guess about center and tighten her up. And like I said, uh, if and when I decide to actually laser something, if I want to you know, move it around or I feel it should be uh, you know, more this way or that way, um, I can go ahead and adjust it, but at least I'll get it tightened up so that when I'm taking it off this work area here, we're actually putting it where it's permanently going to be belonged. Uh, it's not going to be shifted around on me while I'm, while I'm picking up moving it. So here we go. Uh, it's tightened up. One other thing that's cool, I don't know if you can see it from here, but there's actually a small laser right there. So it'll actually uh, put a laser on what you're actually the object you're going to be laser engraving. So very cool. So uh, yeah, uh, I just want to show you the back of this really quick. What's next inside here? It looks like we have two cooling fans, USB out, a rotary out, a uh, foot peg, a fuse and a 10 watt, 110 watt power supply. Um, and this is the uh, wrapping for the cabling. So very nice. Uh, we'll go ahead and get things kind of moved around and get it set up on the bench, uh, get it powered up, get it installed in light burn and test it out. Uh, again, this is from Richard Zhang at omglaser.com. You know, give him a holla if you're looking for an OMG laser. Take a look, there's gonna be a ton of new videos a ton of content on this laser and really showing you what it's capable of uh, and some things we're gonna be making. So we'll be right back. We'll be right back. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. I'm super excited. I was able to set the laser up on this bench. And as you can see, I actually had room. I could probably do three or four more lasers, but because it has a two store, I was able to put the, uh, I wanna, I'm gonna call it the desktop in the bottom here. Uh, along with the surge protector and power conditioner, if you're not sure why I hooked that up to the laser, I got a video in the description below. You may be interested, if you own one of these lasers, to watch it. Trust me, it's worth the watch. Anyways, install these new lights to you know, light up my area, make it a little easier to be able to work. Uh, this fits very nicely. I'm super... I want to dress the pink elephant in the room. <laughs> I had a murder in one in my base when I actually kicked over a quart of red stain in it. Part all over the floor so before anyone says what's all that i just wanted to say something about it so again i got plenty of space here with this table um, i'm super happy the way this is laid out uh go ahead and get this installed in light burn and then getting cut some but uh man as far as insulation literally four screws on this base and you know you're good to go i mean there wasn't a whole lot you know that needed to be done or that i actually did other than Put these four screws in uh everything else is pre-assembled it came with one lens already attached uh two additional lenses um yeah i mean i could not <laughs> it doesn't get any easier than that so let's get installed in light burn and let's fire this baby up and let's see how she does but uh yeah man i'm excited so this video i'm actually going to be doing this is an unboxing video you get my first impressions my first impressions is uh, it's a lot bigger than I, I expected. Uh, the weight of it um, makes me feel that it's definitely a heavy duty or a quality material um, in the components. Uh, it does have a larger footprint than my 30 uh, watt. Uh, of course, you know, you know it's going to have a lot more capabilities. 
Uh, I do like the idea that on this chassis, OMG laser, uh, that it has the ability to move forward, back and forth. Uh, so de depending on the size and the material, you know, using here, it's giving you more uh, availability. Um, I, I do also like the fact that you could have technically wanted to unscrew those and turn this laser completely that way. Now, let's say I had some, I didn't have this here and I had a, um, one of those uh, whiskey barrels or something, you know, some larger that are needed, you know, I could actually go off to the side of the laser. So it just gives you more options, more, you know, uh, that you could, you know, set to. So um, super, super happy. Uh, yeah, let's get this fired up. It's working, it's all in light burn. At the 70 mil, love's on there. You fun nail. All right, that's it finished. I'm gonna run a polish phase and we'll see how that looks afterwards. Starts in the car, can you want one? So, jealous what the thumb. All right, all right, let's take a look at this. That is the finished product. Outstanding. I think it looks amazing. Again, this is the OMG 60 watt MOPA laser. This is the OMG 60 watt MOPA laser. I will put all the uh, information in the comments below. I'm sorry, in the description below as well as in the comments. Just be ready for a ton, a ton of videos on this MOPA laser. I'm super ecstatic the way that came out. This is going to put that challenge coins to a whole new level for me, as well as amongst other things. So thanks for watching. God bless. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And like I said, be ready for a ton of videos on this OMG 60 watt um, MOPA laser. If you have any questions, comments, uh, concerns, or anything about this laser at all, you know, uh, you can always send me an email at rick.ramirez at rickstwocents.com. Once again, that's rick.ramirez at rickstwocents.com. Or just leave a, leave a uh, comment in the comments below. So thanks for joining me. And just like I said, we'll be back with a ton more videos, as well as uh, a video on the rotary. Um, so uh, that'll be a separate video. This is just an unboxing video and first impression video. Rick's Two Cents is kick ass. <laughs> no other way to say it. The performance speaks for itself the insulation putting it together was like nothing uh it was auto detected and light burn um no fumbles i didn't even need redirections it was pretty common sense just putting it together so uh yeah look at that two quarter inch steel i'm sorry quarter inch steel not three quarters quarter inch steel look look at that wow all right we're ready for more videos Thanks for watching. God bless.